Welcome back to Clank in Space. All right, white player, we're up first. We have to try and grab an artifact. Get out of here. The orange player has already made his way back to the docking bay. Ooh, this is not good. All right, we have access pass. Hack, hack. Boldly go. And the feline. We have a crystal instead. Discard a card to draw two cards. We're going to discard a hack. We're going to draw two cards. So we get to draw the space pirate. And come on, movement. And the crystal runner. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's not forget the crystal runner this time. Choose one. Take a power crystal or sell a power crystal for five. <clears throat> um, well, we just play it. You know, we're going to sell. We're going to sell our one power crystal for five. We have one left. We're dumping it. And we're going to grab five credits because that's five points at the end of the game. And we're going to need all the points we can get because I don't know how quickly we're going to get an artifact and get out of here. All right, we have two attack, two four, five recruit, and two movement. We're over here, so for two movement, we're going to head over to this artifact. Movement number one is to go here, and we grab this little minor token, and it is two attack. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, oh, and I forgot, we also have one token left for a heal one, and we're going to use that right now. I'm going to heal one of our damage, just to make sure we don't get knocked out. For our second movement, we're going across the Stormtrooper thing here into this space, which is a security checkpoint. We have to stop, but we are grabbing a 15-point artifact, which is going to enrage Eridicus, Eradicus, Eripinus, Ripides, whatever his name is, and he is now going to put a blockade in place on the Rapid Transit. So you can no longer take the Rapid Transit to the docking bay, which is... Not good for us. And he's still pulling four tokens out of the bag. That's our two movement done. But we do have five recruit. Five recruit, let's see what we want to recruit. Oh boy, I don't think we want anything here. Two points. No movement though. Uh, so, <laughs> we need to move. So for three recruit, I think we're just going to go ahead and get a boldly go. Give us a boot symbol. And the other two recruit, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably not much. And we used our space pirate to cross that uh, stormtrooper space. We don't have anything left. <clears throat> so for the two recruit, I think we're just going to give it up. Because we just need more movement than anything. All right. Five new cards for our next hand. We have one. <laughs> so now i got to shuffle the huge discard, discard pile. And hope we come up with a lot of movement. So we can get out of here and get to the controls or the the yeah, docking bay and get out of the ship in one piece. All right, four more cards. One, two, three, four. And what do we have? Come on, movement. Boldly go. Access. Okay, and a minus two clank. And the spanner. That's going to be our hand for next turn. All right, over we go to the orange player. All right, the orange player has his artifact. He's already in the docking bay. He's got five cards in his hand. He's going to play the Psychic Master first. Draw two cards. Well, isn't that just wonderful? He draws a scramble. Of course, he gets more movement and a hack. Oh, boy. So what does he have? He's got a phaser. Well, he's going to use the phaser for two attack. Grab himself a credit because points. Uh, and then he has two movement. He doesn't have synergies for that. So he has two movement. Two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, two, three, four, five. He's got six. He has six recruit, seven recruit, and two movement. For his two movement, he's going to move one space here. That gets him a credit. All right, for a point. And his second movement, he'll move here, gaining himself a little minor token. And what is this one? Oh, he gets a data pad worth three points, but that enrages <laughs> the... The boss, which takes him to the top, adding two more bounty hunters into the mix. Oh, and he only has four health left. All right, he has a total recruit of two, three, four, five, six. Does he have, hang on, he's got, of course not, he has seven recruit points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven recruit points, and with seven recruit points, yes indeed, he is going to grab himself another memory core. Boom! All right, that was a pretty good turn. Of course, he doesn't want to have any attacks happen, so he didn't recruit anything from the market. So he's got these uh, three. I wonder, I might have forgotten to add two Clank when we've acquired that card. 
I hope that's not the case. But anyway, it might be. At least two more. Oh, I got to shuffle this discard. What I do? I just flipped it over. This isn't uh, and end. <laughs> to shuffle your discard pile. This game. Oh dear. All right. Gets two more cards. Where's next? And one. I guess movement doesn't matter to him now because he's going to have to. Start. Oh, he gets. Oh God. All right. Oh. So all he needs is one movement because he's going to have to stop anyway. But he's got two, four, five recruit, draw two cards. He's just all looking for points now. All right, over we go back to us, the white player. Okay, what do we have? We have two movement and we have two minus two claim. All right, let's do the acoustic spanner first. Draw a card and then you may trash a program in your play area or discard pile. Well, we'll play the hack down. Uh, but we're going to draw a card. Come on. And we get a phaser. All right. Which means we are going to... Then you may trash a program in your play area or discard pile. I think we still get the credit for this, but we're going to trash it. So that's one, two. We have four. We end up with four uh, recruits. So for four recruit, like I said, we got to move. So we're going to grab another bowl. We go for three to our discard pile. We've got four attack and two movement. Ah, so four attack, two movement. We're gonna go, where are we gonna go? We are going to go here for one across one soldier. So that's one attack used up and we get two attacks. Oh my God, we have lots of attacks. We have three attacks left. We can cross this for another movement, but we have to stop here at, oh, hang on. Oh, God, what am I doing? We're gonna move one more to here for our second movement, and then we can take the transit. We can, we have our access, we can go past locks, we can take the transit to here, and then we can't use boots anymore. But that at least gets us closer to getting out of the ship, and that's what we need. All right, so um, we used the spanner. We didn't use our swords yet. We've got four swords, that's gonna be two credits because we're gonna end up beating up the goblin twice. Again, we're getting a lot of credits points which is good we're going to need them and that's the end of our turn so five new cards one two three four five movement we need movement we need movement badly a scramble a gold eagle good here's our gold eagles we got three movement next time darn it we don't have our crystal anymore but it's still draw a card and discard a card so it's all good all good all right over we go to the orange player all right, well, the orange player is just all about buying memory cores, I think, as much as they can. He's going to start off by playing this, which is draw two cards. Oh, God, he's just drawing so many cards. He draws a phaser, and he draws a hack, and then he's going to play the imprisoned pilot draw a card. This gets to draw three cards. Um, and now he's got two, four, five, six, seven. He's got eight recruit. What a surprise. <laughs> With eight recruit, you know exactly what he's purchasing. A memory core, and he has two movements. So for one movement, he's going to move here. He's going to get two credits for moving into that space. And he bought himself another memory core for seven. It's another five points. Oh, my jumping. And that's really all he's doing. And he's got... Uh, yeah, he took his two attacks to take out two four. Yep, that's the end of his turn. He's going to draw five new cards. One, two, three, four, five for his next hand. Boldly go. Uh, he only has one movement. No, oh, but draw a card. Oh, come on, if he has two movements, he can get to the escape pod. Otherwise, he can't. <laughs> that would be funny if he only has one movement. He has three, four, five, six. He got seven. Oh my god, he has seven recruit again. All right, one more turn for each of us, and that's going to be our episode for today. Oi, oi, oi. All right, we have to move. We have three movement. We have discard a card to draw a card. I don't want to dis... Do I want to discard... Do I even want to discard anything? Or do I want to keep... Yeah, oh, I don't know. I don't think we have to go across any spaces with... Uh, soldiers. So we'll discard the space pirate to draw a card. Oh, and we draw the crystal runner. Okay, so choose one. Ta take a power crystal or sell one for five. Well, I guess we'll take a power crystal. I don't know what good it's going to do us right now. And then we basically have two, four, five, six. Six recruit. 
three move. For three move, we're going to go one move, two moves to here. Getting another little token. Oh, an extra move! Okay, two moves. We've got one more move to here, getting us a credit. Oh, this is not bad. We caught right up <clears throat> a credit. And we'll spend our boot for another move. Why wouldn't we? Because we need to move. So we're going to move right here for another little token. We get a heart back, which we'll spend right now. Because why not? We don't want to be damaged. Wow, that's the end of our turn. That was not terrible. Not terrible at all. All right, discard our cards. Or wait a second, two, four, five. We didn't recruit anything. Do we want to recruit anything for five? Yes, we do. All right, for five, we are going to go ahead and recruit. Um, well, we'll go ahead and recruit the... Yeah, we'll go ahead and recruit the power converter. Why not? We do have a crystal now. We can uh, trash it. Oh, memory core. We don't have memory cores, but we'll take it anyway. It costs us five. It's worth a victory point. Done. And... An attack! <laughs> oh boy. All right, well, and we're going to be drawing five cubes out. What's our hand? One, two, three, four, five. For next episode, which will be the finale. And we've got these for our next episode. Two more movement. Movement, movement, movement. All right, we're going to back out and draw out, uh, out of the bag. Oh boy. Three bounty hunters popping in the bag. Five tokens are coming out. This might be the end of the orange player. What if he gets knocked out? Uh, and then we make it to an escape pod. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have for five tokens? We have three black and two orange. So he's taken two damage. And three black came out. We didn't take any damage. All right. Oh, man. Over we go. The orange player. The orange player has one movement but he does have a draw a card so he's gonna hope he gets movement he gets a stumble instead <laughs> he's trying to make his way to the exit and he's just a fumbling so he's gonna add one clank he's gonna add two clanks he adds two clanks and he only has one movement he can't get to an escape pod he has to add two clanks in here holy that's crazy business. All right, well, he can't really go anywhere because he's right here. It costs him two to get to the escape pod, and he doesn't have two movements, so he's kind of pooched. But he has three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, he has seven. Oh, he has seven recruit points. He's going to buy another <laughs> memory core. He's going to win just for memory core points, I'm, I swear. Two, three, four, five, even if he can't escape. All right, phaser, memory core hack. He's got, he only has one movement again. He only has, oh my God. Wow, this is unbelievable. This is crazy. Okay, that's where we're gonna leave it off, believe it or not. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna conclude tomorrow our episode. So, oh my God. Wow. Um. Oh, wow. I just I don't even know what to do. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Clank in Space. We're doing a two-player game. We're both in the cargo bay. We're both trying to get out of here. And I he only has one movement again. So, oh, it's going to be so close. I don't know. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Continuation Clank in Space, a two-player game. Oh, my God. Huge correction here at the end of the episode. You saw it. I saw it, but I missed it. He had teleport. You may teleport to an adjacent space because he had battle school, which gives him the synergies for this card. You may teleport to an adjacent space. Of course, he would have done that after he purchased the memory core. He would teleport to the escape pod. Boom. 20 points. And he's out of here. <laughs> he's out of here. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow for the conclusion. Be Probably a relatively short episode, and then we're going to be chalking up and looking up points and see what happens.